Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to find out derive an equation for the velocity of an electron orbiting in a Bohr's atomic model. To derive that equation, we need to use the derivation that we have made for the radius of an electron in the previous video lesson. That radius r equal to h square by 4 pi square ke square multiplied by n square by mz, where h is the Planck's constant. 4 pi square is a constant, k is also a constant, who is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, e is the charge of electron, who is of course a constant, 1.6 into 10 power minus 18 uh, coulombs, n is the principal quantum number, m is the mass of the electron, and z is the atomic number. Taking that basic equation into consideration, if you remember, as per the Bohr's hypothesis or Bohr's uh, model, we know that angular momentum L equal to MVR as per the mechanics equal to NH by 2 pi. From this we can write an equation velocity of an electron equal to NH by 2 pi and MR. If we substitute the radius of electron that we have derived in the previous video lesson in the place of this, we'll be getting the velocity of an electron. That implies velocity of an electron in the orbit is nh by 2 pi into m and the reciprocal of that r. r value is h square by 4 pi square k square and n square by m z. So, rearranging the terms will give the equation for the velocity of an electron. So, velocity of the electron in the given orbit is V equal to NH by 2 pi m. And let us rearrange the terms. 4 pi square k e square m z will automatically come to the numerator. H square and n square will go to the denominator. So we can cancel one h. We can also cancel one n. So rearranging the terms v equal to 1 by, we can cancel this m also, 2 pi, 4 pi square, k e square and z, and h, and n, so what's the remaining equations are. So it is obvious that 4 pi square is a constant, k is a constant, e is constant because we are talking about electron, 2 pi is a constant, h is also constant multiplied by z by n. You can rearrange by cancelling 1 pi and 1 2. So what's remaining is 2 pi k e square and h to by h multiplied by z by n. This is the velocity of the electron in the nth orbit. Suppose if you have kept a certain condition that if we are talking about a hydrogen atom, Z will be 1. If we are talking about a first orbit, N also will become 1, which is called something like a ground state. Then V becomes automatically V0, velocity of the electron in the ground state as 2 pi k e square and h. Substituting all the values will be getting the velocity of an electron as approximately velocity of the light divided by 137. That's the velocity that what we are going to get. Velocity of an electron in an orbit is of course definitely 137 times less than that of the velocity of the light. So if you want to write for electron in nth orbit Vn is V0 
multiplied by z by n or you can say approximately c by 137 times of z by n is the equation for the velocity of the electron in the nth orbit thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you